Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. Today, what I would like to do is I would like to help you optimize your system really quick to play games. First thing first, very important. Go to taskbar, right-click it, and up here, you're going to see an option that says News and Interest. That's a default Windows thing. It uses algorithm and location and all that stuff to put up some sort of news that you might find interesting. It uses 7% of my CPU, and I have a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. Take this setting off. Right-click taskbar, go to the top, news and interest, it will be there, disable. The next thing we need to do is go to startup tab in our task manager, right-click your taskbar, hit task manager, disable everything again. You might say, oh, I don't want to disable my antivirus. Okay, sure, don't. If you're worried about your antivirus, don't disable it. I'm not going to hold you to that. All good. Disable most of it, though. Even my Realtek HD audio, you can see, is disabled. I don't have one thing running. So figure that out. Disable the majority of this stuff. And the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the search bar on Windows and type in msconfig. M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. msconfig. And it will bring up your system configuration. Make sure you're on Selective Startup. Then hit the Services tab. Hide all Microsoft services. Now you see every service that's running for games or for whatever you've downloaded. Not Windows, but what you have downloaded. BattleEye, Easy Anti-Cheat, Epic Online Services, Google, Steam. Anything you need from these programs to play your game, it will ask you permission for when you launch the game. If I go launch Content Manager and try to play Assetto, it's going to launch the Steam client, ask if I want permission, or ask for permission, sorry, and I'm going to hit yes, give it permission, and my game's going to work fine. So make sure you come in here and disable everything that you think that you don't need that is not a part of Windows. And then you're going to hit OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Content Manager, OK, and we're going to go to Tools, Content, Compress Files. This is going to free up as much space as possible, which leads me to my next topic of make sure you have enough space on your drive that Assetto is running so it doesn't lag. One thing people don't realize is that when you start to get to 5, 10, 15, 20 gigs of space and you are in the red zone, your computer is going to start lagging. It happened to me. I have an awesome computer. It's going to happen to you no matter what system you have. So that's what we need to know. Now, in here, if we go to our Steam stuff, you can just follow what I'm doing on the screen. You get to your Steam apps common folder where all your games are stored, and you can delete every single game that you no longer play or wish to play in order to save some space. And last but not least for this quick video, we're going to show you how to access your app data folder and it's going to be in your local disk under users under the main user that you use all the time for everything and you need to hit view and hit hidden items. That is going to expose this app data folder. Now inside app data, you mostly want to focus on local, but you'll notice, for example, if I wanted to completely delete content manager, it is right here, AC Tools Content Manager. This is where all of the local data for Content Manager is stored on my system. If I delete this right now and I reinstall Content Manager, I am going to have to reinstall Content Manager from scratch on that very first page where it asks you what your Steam ID is and what plugins that you want. That is going to be to completely delete Content Manager. In the same respect, the absolute same respect, Everything else for any other game can get deleted, usually in this folder. And if it's not in this folder for a game you've downloaded, for some reason, it might have just somehow gone to one of these other ones. So that's it for the day. A quick recap. What we did here, we right-click Task Manager, and we disabled the news and interests from ever doing anything. We opened up Task Manager, and we disabled everything in the Startup tab. We've typed in msconfig and entered that into our Windows system and made sure we are on selective startup and we've hid all Microsoft services, 
to disable any service that is not related to Microsoft or anything that we do on a regular basis. We have gone into this PC and we have gone into here and we've gone into the app data folder. We've gone into content manager. We've compressed all of our files and we've gone over how to delete most games from your Steam library and whatever that might be. Now, the very last thing I need to mention is when you do all of this stuff, if you have done this correctly, when you start your PC, because you're going to restart your PC after you did everything, when you restart your PC, this memory slot under performance, it should be no more than 3 gigs at the absolute max, but it should be around 2 to 2.2 gigs when you just restart your PC and you're just running Windows. If you followed the video, you did everything, and that's not happening, and for some reason it's still 3, 4, 5 gigs when you restart, let me know and we'll try and figure it out. Anyways, stay gaming out there. I am a firm believer of it's not always about what you got. It's a lot to do with how you set it up. So if you want some help setting stuff up, watch these videos, get out here, play a settle, play your other games, stay gaming, have a good day, and I'll see you all soon on the streets. Take care, everybody.